Bro, best believe, like I'm out here editing the very video you're gonna see on this upload. This is how it goes down. I'm just trying to show you how I cook it up. Well, this is after gym. This is after the workouts. So, this is where the magic of the edits happen. <laughs> it's annoying sometimes when you make silly little mistakes that make you go all the way back. But sometimes it's awesome, bro. Sometimes it just... I tell you, with the right music, nice coffee, beautiful smells, this place is a vibe, G. It's also an amazing way to check out my form, check out my raps, check out how hard I be putting in work, evaluate myself, see what I need to fix the next time I'm training that muscle in the gym. I just realized doing this and talking to you at the same time is making me do stupid little mistakes. So I'm going to stop recording now and then I'm going to see you after the edits. So it begins fam I should just let you know this was a very very long workout I started with calves I did chest and I ended it with triceps I'm gonna take you through it all but it's gonna be really really long and the way I like training my triceps well I put them at the beginning of all my workouts so I train them with real high intensity I'll hold it first for like 10 seconds and then I'll do the reps for every set of my triceps. First comes the hold and then comes the raises. Whatever it is I'll be doing that day, pressing or raising, but first I'm gonna do the holds. Because you know triceps are used to a lot of stress. You walk with them all day long. For all your life you've been walking with your calves, so you gotta really, really, really make your calf workout intense. So that's what I try to do. So because I don't usually train my calves with legs, I train them with other muscle groups, usually with shoulders or with back or with chest. So I'll play around with whatever machine is next to me. I could do calves with the leg press machine, I could do calves with the heck machine, I could do calves with the smith machine, the seated machine like I'm doing right here. And sometimes I'll just use free weights, I'll sit down on a bench, put a couple dumbbells on my thighs and just knock it off. I really try to play around with my calves because I've been training them for a while nothing much seems to be happening so I really hit them hard with different angles different exercises different workout intensities different pace different tempo just to make sure I hit all angles and all muscle fibers of those calves Well, as you can see, the myth of the workout is starting. I always start my chest days with chest flies. I've, I've grown really used to that because with, with flies, I go really light and I just pump up my chest with blood. And it's crazy because whenever I do this, like I go up in weights and then it starts to hurt. Like I do cable fly so much for like four sets and then it starts to hurt. Like I would literally be going to do my my chest presses with a barbell or dumbbell with pains already on my chest. This thing is awesome, bro. Flies are the best thing you can do. Because you know, they stretch out your pec muscles so much and down there they squeeze so much. And there's no point of rest for cable flies, bro. Like on your low, they are stretched. On your up, they are squeezed. Like cable flies are the best thing ever for your chest, bro. I don't want to lie. And they feel awesome.
<laughs> I'm excited just seeing this part of the video, bro. This is oh, this place, bro. I'm just passionate about this place. Well, this is another exercise I love for my chest. The bubble incline bench press. All my chest days. I don't even think that's healthy, bro. Like all my chest days start with incline presses. Sometimes I'll start with the barbell, sometimes I'll start with the dumbbell, but all my chest days start with incline. Because I'm really trying to be strong on my upper chest. I'm really trying to be strong like right below my neck to make sure I give my chest a nice pumped up full look. Because you know, a lot of people don't, don't do that a lot. So it also gives me space. Whenever you go to work out, a lot of people are gonna be on the, flat, on the flat bench press. So it gives you the space to go and do all your inclines as much as you want. So that's a benefit for me, bro. I do a lot of incline presses. Dumbbell, barbell, machines. Really trying to make sure my chest doesn't look like a paper bag or some vibe, bro. Give it a nice, full-blooded look. So I'll do four sets of the barbell press and then I'll move over to the dumbbell press as you can see. Cause you know the dumbbell and the bubble might be similar but they don't do the same thing. There's different benefits to the dumbbell, there's different benefits to the bubble and so you gotta get them both. Some people do them like on different days. You know some guys will do dumbbells on this day and they'll do barbell on that day. I think that's also cool, but I just do it all at the same time and just annihilate myself. Don't give myself any chance to be, I don't even know, I don't even know what to say, bro, but like, I do them all at the same time. <laughs> bro, doing this voiceover isn't easy, bro, because I'm fighting with myself. I want to sing along to these songs, bro. I want to whistle along, but <laughs> I can't because I'm going to ruin the video. Okay, by the way, this is the machine pack press. It's also one of my favorites because whenever I'm done with the free weights, <clears throat> I move over along to the machines. I usually warm up sometimes with the machines, but I never not do free weights. So this is one of the machines I love for my chest because it allows you to go heavy. It also allows you to sit down, which rests a lot of your other balancing muscles. Oh wow, it seems like my chest day was over there. Well, I'll do a lot of push-ups usually at the end of my chest days, but it doesn't seem like I did on this day. I started doing triceps. Something you're gonna see that's unusual on this workout is that I'm using plates for the kickback. You will see a lot of people using dumbbells. That's okay, that's the traditional way of doing it. But most times I try to move out of the norm and put myself outside of the comfort zone and that, that plate will do that. Because the plate will wanna wobble along. You wanna make sure you keep a strong wrist. You wanna make sure you keep a strong forearm. You wanna make sure you keep a strong elbow, a strong shoulder. So your entire arm is working when you do that. It doesn't stop, Ooh, what's that? It doesn't stop focusing on your tricep, it doesn't stop hitting your tricep hard, but it just allows you not to rest. And then that's another traditional tricep exercise, the easy bar skull crusher. That thing feels good, bro. That thing feels good. But you will hear a lot of people saying it's uncomfortable for their shoulders or for their elbows. I think it's okay that you don't do that. I think it's okay that you're self-aware, you know what works for you and what doesn't, but for me that vibe is the best. I'll say something about this exercise soon, but the beat drop is coming. Ooh. And that's the overhead behind rope extension, bro. It really allows your inner head of the tricep to be felt, to be activated, bro. Because without doing stuff like that, only just doing things standing or lying back, you're gonna be missing out on a lot of tricep gains. So I do all tricep angles to make sure I complete my filling of the sleeve. Cause that's what a good tricep will do, but it'll fill up your sleeves. Who doesn't want a filled up sleeve? Come on, do it. 
do I really need to start saying stuff about this exercise? Everybody does that, bro. You go to the gym right now, I bet you whatever amount of money you want to bet, I probably don't even have that money, but you're going to find someone doing that. Because it's traditional, bro. It hits your tricep like nothing else ever will. That's the last of it. That's the end of the workout, bro. Hey, well, voicing over this wasn't such a daunting task like I thought it would be. It's over, bro, and I'm gonna catch you on my next upload. I promised you a back workout, and it's coming, I promise you it's coming. I'm gonna record back next. <laughs>